everybody, how's it going? Today we want to take a look at the hidden artifact skin for Subtlety Rogues, Venombite. In order to obtain these daggers you first have to give a Subtlety Artifact weapon, the Thanks of a Devourer, and also unlock the trade, the Vault, at Winston Wolf in the Rogue Order Hall. The Vault grants you a chance to obtain Vault tickets after completing missions at the mission table, and it also grants you a chance to pickpocket Marion Noggenfogger's lucky coin from any enemies in the Broken Isles. Farming Noggenfogger's lucky coins is definitely the faster way to go, and good farming spots are at this location in Azuna, as well as Zuama City. Just pickpocket every enemy you find and kill them afterwards. The first coin took me about half an hour to get, but apparently I was just unlucky, because the next ones took me only about 3 minutes. However, these coins are unique and you can only have one at a time. When bringing Noggenfogger's lucky coin to marry Noggenfogger in the Rogue Order Hall, you can take an item from a vault he's sitting in, and you want to take these keys hanging on the wall right here. These keys are keys to the Palace of Lei Shen and you want to give them to Taiyoshi. She will then start a time scenario where you have 5 minutes to make your way through the Throne of Thunder. Here you will find many smaller and bigger treasure chests and you want to keep your eyes open for the big ones. At the end of the whole thing you will find a boss and multiple big chests, but on your way there you will also find some. In these chests you may find Burial 12 keys which you can use after the scenario has ended to open up some special treasure chests. And in these chests you may find the item Tome of Otherworldly Venoms, which unlocks the hidden artifact skin. However, we are not quite done. There are a few things in the scenario you might want to watch out for. First of all, all around the palace are traps, which can stun or slow you down, which you definitely want to avoid. Then also you can get the item you need in every spec and the best spec to do this challenge is actually Outlaw due to a higher mobility with your grappling hook ability. There are some traps on the ground with a certain symbol on them, the lightning symbol will call down lightning upon you, the red fire symbol will burn you and they will all slow you down. However, this cloud symbol will knock you up in the air which you can use to reach higher places. Then upon looting a chest you may encounter a scumblade pillager, who will stun you and then run away with the loot. He definitely will drop a burial turf key, so make sure to kill it. Also you will not be able to reach these chests up here, no matter how hard you try. When using your grappling hook you will just glitch behind the whole thing and you will be stuck there for the cooldown of your grappling hook, so you really don't want to waste your time with that. Also there are 3 doors which are closed and in order to open them you need to activate a lever. The first lever is literally direct next to the staircase of a door. Then in the second room you can turn two different levers, but the easier one to reach is here on the left side of the main path. And then in the final room there are two different paths. And on the left path you will find the lever in front of a pile of rubble. And this will open the door on the right path. As I said, focus on the big treasure chests because they have a much higher chance to have the keys for you. I personally got the artifact skill in my second try of this scenario, so it really shouldn't take you too long. As every artifact skin, this one comes in 4 different colors, which you can unlock by doing different activities. If you are interested in more hidden artifact skins, check out this playlist right here. I hope I could help you and hope to see you next time. Until then, see ya!